Welcome to the Mighty Baker Podcast, your go-to source for elevating your baking skills and business. I'm Pete Tidwell, your host, baking coach and advocate for mental health. Get ready to make more dough in and out of the kitchen while nourishing your mind along the way. As a passionate baker, I believe that baking is not just about creating delicious treats. It's also a powerful tool for nurturing our mental well-being. Throughout this podcast, I'll be sharing a wealth of mindset-related content, empowering you to cultivate a positive and resilient mindset that will drive your baking success. Join our thriving communities at themightybaker.com where you'll connect with like-minded bakers, both those who bake for pure enjoyment and those pursuing their baking dreams as a business. Together, we'll foster a supportive environment where we can learn, grow, and inspire one another. In each episode of the Mighty Baker podcast, we'll delve into a world of exciting ideas and discussions. From mastering intricate recipes to refining your techniques, we'll explore the intricacies of baking with a focus on continuous improvement. Moreover, we'll dive into the business side of baking, equipping you with the knowledge to run a successful and fulfilling bakery. But it doesn't stop there. We'll prioritize nurturing your mental health, discussing mindfulness practices, self-care strategies, and the importance of maintaining a healthy work-life balance or integration, however you want to look at it. Because when we take care of our minds, we can truly thrive in all aspects of our baking journey and our lives. So grab your apron and let's embark on this transformative baking adventure together. The Mighty Baker Podcast is here to help you unlock your baking potential, expand your business horizons, and prioritize your well-being. Get ready to make more dough, embrace a resilient mindset, and create delicious moments that will leave a lasting impact. Let's rise to new heights with the Mighty Baker Podcast. Let's go. Um, okay. Hey, what's up, you guys? Pete Tidwell here with the Mighty Baker Podcast. This is episode 60, and I am putting both part five and part six of this podcast series within this episode. So we're going to be covering the power of connection, kind of continuing on the theme from last week, and then moving on to moving forward and thriving and just pushing into the next area in your life and in your business. So today's episode... Before we jump into it, here's a fun fact for you today. Did you know that the average American consumes about 55 pounds of bread per year? That's a lot of dough. That's insane. I read that and I was like, oh my goodness, that's insane. So last week, we definitely highlighted the benefits of relationships, of networking, and collaboration. We're just going to jump into this a little bit more this week because I feel like it's a good one that we can jump into. I think this episode is going to be a little bit shorter, but we'll see how this goes. So the opportunities for growth and learning and collaboration are huge when we can build relationships with other bakery and small business owners or whatever industry that you're in and be able to share success stories with each other and be able to share failures with each other and be able to leverage each other's networks as well as as well as each other's experiences so that you can grow together, right? And I think that's a huge thing. And when I very first started, I had to scrap everything together and I utilized my connections and my networks to get done what needed to get done. And sometimes I had to get really scrappy and I had to do some some trades or tr- some figuring out with other people, other vendors, or other businesses on how I could get the things done that I needed to, not having the money or not having the resources or the know-how to do it. And I think it's just a very important place when you decide to become an entrepreneur, know what market you're entering into. Not necessarily 
just your industry, but all the other business owners around. Make a community, and this is where you can jump out into local networking groups. Some of them cost money. Some of them are free. You have small business centers at universities sometimes or community colleges or sponsored by your city or town's chamber of commerce. And if you don't have one, by all means, start one in your local community, just with like local businesses. Doesn't even matter what industries they are, but like maybe you're a baker and you start a little networking group with a baker and maybe a wedding photographer and maybe a wedding planner and all these things. And maybe outside of that industry as well, just any business owners. Because being able to come together, businesses are all businesses and there's learnings that we can get from each other. And I think that's the most valuable way to be able to navigate through some of these things, right? And the next piece I'm going to add is in addition to being a part of these networking, remember, if you are growing your business and you have done it for a little while and you need help to get your business to the next level, you need someone to be accountable to, I would suggest looking into coaching or mentorship, which is basically the same thing. That's what I do, is I do coaching and mentorship. And I don't only say that because I want you to hire me as my as as your coach, because I'm not going to be for everybody out there. But this is something to say out there. If you are a business owner and you are a solo business owner, even if you're not, If you're a business owner and you're in the bakery space or food space, you and you want growth and you're ready for growth and ready to put the work in, you need a mentor. You need a coach. There's no way you're going to get there by yourself. You will get there, but it's going to take you a whole heck of a lot longer to get there. Having a coach or a mentor can get you there quicker. Yeah, you can do it yourself, but if there's somebody out there that's been sitting and listening and very curious about my coaching and wants to look into it, it might be the time to do it right now. It might be, and if that's the case, go sign up for a discovery call on my website. So in conclusion, I just want to take some quick takeaways from this, and this is going to be a quicker episode today, but from the six-part series, we covered all lot of things. And we all covered, I'm going to recap this just a little bit because this whole episode series kind of came apart just kind of quickly because I had so many things going on in my life and I felt like everything was mount on top of me. And I'm like, man, this is so hard. And I had this thought of what if the hardest part is over? What if from here on out, I know how to deal with things because I've dealt with a lot of things. And yeah, they're still going to be hard all the time. And it's not really that the hardest part is over. But it's a perspective shift, a mindset shift, if you will, of a way that you can look at things differently. And I wanted to create this episode series, this podcast series, to cover how we can embrace entrepreneurship and self-care and make sure we're taking care of ourselves. We talked about business and life challenges and how to overcome them. We talked about the power of perspective, shifting beliefs for growth. We talked about seeking support, both mental health, through coaching, through community, and we also talked about nurturing ourselves with self-care and thought work. And lastly, the power of connection, creating connection, creating responsibility, um, sorry, not responsibility, relationships, in our community, online, and in our community that we can grow as business owners and do this together and help each other lift each other as we go through. And as you go through and as you've listened to these, I want each of you to choose one thing that you're going to do in your business or in your life that you've maybe put off, that maybe there's a limiting belief, maybe there's something holding you back. Choose just one action to take in your life to bring to move the needle and then use the motivation, the information that you get from taking that action to take another action and continue. That's where momentum starts. It's by taking action towards a goal and actually taking action regardless of failure and then learning from that step and then taking the next step and the next step. 
That's what we call momentum. And regardless if there's failures in there or setbacks, that's momentum. It's moving forward and being consistent in that motion. And the last thing I want to talk about is ambidexterity in business. And I love this one because from that standpoint, this was an article I read a little while ago, and it's this idea of in your business, always being aware of your current processes and wanting to optimize your current processes and systems, always wanting to improve them, making them better. But then at the same time, as you're trying to optimize those, you're trying to have part of your brain in the what's next category, right? And when to say no to things, constantly challenging beliefs, inspiring new ideas, making things more efficient. But I think overall, the ambidexterity is that two-sided thing. It's optimizing current processes and systems at the same time, thinking about what's next, being strategic, looking at what's in the next year, three years, five years, 10 years, and what you're really working towards and trying to build. And I think those are all very important to have in perspective if you're wanting to go on to this entrepreneurship journey. And I thank you so much for joining us for this episode and all these episodes. Join us next week when we are back in at episode 61, and it's going to be a good episode. So with that said, have a mighty day, and we'll see you later. Thanks for tuning in to the Mighty Baker Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform to help us improve and reach more listeners. Don't hesitate to reach out to us on social media or through our website if you have any questions or feedback. Keep baking, stay inspired, and see you on the next episode.